Hello everyone, welcome to ET Studios, and today we are having a look at Kerbal Space Program Realism Overhaul and Real Solar System. I am super excited about today's video because it is my first ever mission to Mars in a real solar system, and for those of you who have played it, you will know that the first time is not particularly easy, or at least I really hope it wasn't for you. That sounds a bit... anyway. Um, because it really wasn't for me. This took so many attempts, and what you're seeing right now is the launches of four of, there were a bit more, but four of the launches that I used to try and get my little lander to Mars. The criteria for success on this mission is probe core intact and one solar panel at least intact. So I have power and I have probe core. Now, these launches, the first one was an, an Ariane 6, which doesn't have a big enough payload to Mars uh, capability, so I, I didn't know that, and now I do. It was just not uh, strong enough to get myself all the way to Mars. So that failed. Uh, the rest of the launches were done on Falcon Heavies in fully expendable mode, just because I really couldn't be bothered to set up the um, fuel margins and everything, so that I would still be able to make it to orbit. Uh, not, but I think I would have been able to do it, so let's just assume they were not expendable. Anyway, those launches all failed in some way or another. This is the actual launch. Now, it's another Falcon Heavy, and there were lots of iterations on the design of the actual lander, and the reason you saw more than one Falcon Heavy launch, uh, and one of them did succeed there, and this one is also going to succeed, I went to Mars a total of four times with four different lander variants, and the last one was the only one even capable of getting close to the surface without going pop. So this is the final launch, but I will be showing you bits and pieces of the other ones, uh, of the other landers and such. The first lander was too big, uh, well it wasn't too big, but it, the pieces on overhanged, overhung, overhanged, too much uh, past the heat shield, so when it entered the atmosphere around Mars, it would go pop. And uh, that happened every time, and I couldn't even find a way to make it, it would either explode on the way down, or it would miss Mars entirely. There was no in-between on that, which is somewhat unfortunate, but that's just the way that was. So, yeah, this launch was successful. I got relatively good at launching my Falcon Heavy. I do apologize that it's in the dark, but that's just the way it is. Um, and yeah, I've got loads of mods installed, um, but this I'll try and find exactly which Falcon Heavy this is from. It might be Tundra Explorations, maybe? Maybe? So here we are doing our Trans-Mars Injection Burn, and... Uh, yeah, so it's, a, it's just under 4,000 meters per second, usually at a minimum. I used an actual real-life calculator, uh, transfer window calculator, because real solar system is the real solar system, and if you put it in the right date, you can get the real transfer orbit. So I did that and got the date, and it, it'll be roughly about right, especially if you're early game. This is like 1971, I believe, this launches. So yeah, um, you start in 58 in realism level. So there we go, it did spin out a little bit, but it was fine. Um, it was enough to just separate and then control with RCS. I'm not going to show the entire mission because it's quite a long video as it is. Well, it's not actually very long considering it, what we did. It's not long at all. But anyway, um, so all the way to Mars and obviously now the um, the maneuver node wasn't quite right there so I just adjusted with RCS. You can, It's fairly easy to adjust with RCS. But anyway, this was one of the attempts at getting close to the surface and as you can see, I have like a little transfer stage which is with some solar panels and things like that to get me there with some extra fuel and some Super Draco thrusters, which helped slow me down just before I hit the atmosphere. Now, this flight, I separated the fairings because then I can expose my RCS thrusters to make sure I am staying straight. And uh, then I come into the atmosphere and my parachutes can only deploy at a very low speed and I, there we go, so I, I eject my heat shield, I have my little Aerobee thrusters, there are four down there, 
and I slow myself down and the parachutes cut because I was going too fast. And yeah, so that happened a lot. So this is another one where it spun out and exploded in the atmosphere. Uh, this hit the floor. Uh, that happened again. And again. And again. Although, admittedly, this one was a little bit better than the previous time. Uh, so this did actually land, but the probe core was destroyed, and so was the battery, so it's just it was just a dead probe. So I did not count that as a success, because I couldn't do anything with it. So yeah, this was the final attempt at a landing on Mars. I don't think that I could have done any better with this with the current design of the lander, just because it's it's not an amazing design, and I could have done better. But... I wasn't prepared for how thin Mars' atmosphere was and how little parachutes were actually going to do. So I added two more parachutes to this one and did another Falcon Heavy launch all the way to Mars and this was the final attempt. So I'm using the Super Dracos to kind of slow myself down. I'm a little bit off axis so I waited for RCS to try and fix it. It was struggling a bit, the solar panels were already starting to overheat so I decided not to use all the fuel and eject it. So that floated away um, and yeah, just did its thing in the atmosphere. So that was cool. Anyway, coming into the atmosphere now, the fairings are mostly just there um, to look like an actual lander. This would work just fine without them, I think, but I prefer to have them there and then, yeah. So this one, I added my periapsis a little bit higher. So we did actually, we captured into Mars orbit, but we didn't land on that attempt. Then we came back into the atmosphere, and try it again. And yeah, so this time we used RCS to try and maneuver better, and we missed again because I didn't lower my periapsis enough, but that's okay. Uh, then I went to apoapsis again and uh, adjusted it. I do hope you guys enjoy this style of content. I don't know whether you want them to be even longer than this. This isn't particularly long for a Kerbal Space Program video, so I could definitely try and stretch it out more, but I'm trying to just keep to the major events of the flight rather than doing the entire thing. And this is my first realism overhaul video that's like an actual mission, so I hope you enjoy it. It's definitely a lot of fun. I'd like to do more of it, so if you do enjoy this content and if you made it to this point in the video, that's fantastic. Uh, there is a Patreon, which I actually streamed all of this to my only Patreon, who's currently a patron. Um, but yeah, you, you can see live streams of what's actually happening, um, and there's a Discord server and all that stuff, so it's fantastic. Please join the Patreon if you can, it would be greatly appreciated, but there is no requirement at all to do so. So, my little shameless plug... Uh, out of the way, let's have a look at the final descent into Mars's atmosphere. So there we go, you can see our periapsis is now below the surface of Mars, and we are reducing our altitude. So the RCS thrusters are on maximum, they're not doing anything helpful really. The re-entry heating is not that bad, so I ejected the heat shield and started up the little Araby thrusters, which could have been Dracos, but Dracos are really powerful, and I preferred to have something with a little bit lower TWR so I could keep it more stable. Drogue shoots came out, primary shoots came out, and I put the RCS thrusters on maximum thrust, not that they did much at all, and yeah, we had a descent rate of just over 20 meters per second at landing. This is me slowing down the footage a bit here, and we hit a bit hard, but the probe core survived, a solar panel survived, and the antenna survived as well, which is a nice bonus. So there we go, I try to prop the craft up with the, um, the solar panels, uh, the solar panel and the antenna, which worked quite nicely, I think that actually looks alright. The other solar panels on the floor next to the craft, but that's okay. So there we have it, that was my first successful mission to Mars. If you guys want longer videos in the future, please let me know if you like this kind of content please do let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you everyone for watching. Like I said, there is a Discord server in the description below if you'd like to join that. I am terrible at outros, as always, but thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.